Hi Gemini, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your September 2017 love reading. This is your Gypsy Spread. So, just to let you know about a couple of things to do with the channel. Um, the first thing to say is that um, there's going to be bi-weekly readings now. So you get from the 1st to the 15th of the month, you'll get two readings. Gypsy Tarot Love Spread and also Celtic Cross Spread. Um... From the 16th to the 30th, you'll also get the same. But it's really just to see what's happening in your love lives. Is there any updates in the past two weeks? Is there a continuation of the story? Is it something different? And also for the Celtic Cross. Now, also on the Celtic Cross, Gemini, you'll see me now on these readings. And that's because I haven't really been connecting with the audience. Just been showing my hands. And that's not the way that I've run the, you know, the channel. It's not the way that it, the channel started. It's not the way that it's been run. Sorry, I'm just trying to tidy up. It's hard to keep a, a... This is like a black covering for the the readings. It's hard to keep it sort of the way that I want to keep it. Um, right, so yeah. You'll get to see me on those readings because it's important for me to connect with the audience, okay? For your reading on this Gypsy Tarot Love Spread, you've got the Witch's Tarot, all right? We're going to be using that. And as an advice card, you've got the Romance Angels, Okay. So, let's have a look what's coming in for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for your love reading for the first two weeks in September. Universe Spirit, show me Gemini. What's coming in for Gemini? Show me Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for love in the first two weeks of September. Show me Gemini. I'm connecting to Gemini. The energies of Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the first two weeks of September. Show me. All right, so we've shuffled the cards. We're going to split that deck into three, collect it back up. And what we're going to do, we're going to start to lay the cards down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and then we've got one two three four five six and seven okay there we go so we've got 21 cards laid out let's have a look at what the mental and emotional is about well the three of wands sometimes this can be a third party situation you've got two ones behind this person Okay, so they're not looking at you really. They're looking at launching something else. So sometimes this is third party situations. Three of Wands can be about waiting and expectation in terms of love. You've started something and you're waiting for something to come back with that Three of Wands. Some of you guys, it's searching for something. It might be that you're launching something new. It might be that you're interacting, you know, with people from afar because the Three of Wands is about international connections. So there might be something around that being the situation. How do you feel mentally and emotionally? What's what's going on around that situation mentally and emotionally? Well, mentally and emotionally, I feel that this is about determination, but it's also a card about waiting because the Three of Wands can be about waiting for something to come back to you or waiting for something. It might be that you're waiting for something to come back to you here with this Three of Wands. Mentally and emotionally, what's the mental and emotional response to that? Well, the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is about holding on in there. So when you've got the Nine of Wands, it's about somebody and even you know this card isn't even about confidence not really especially I feel within love because the knight of wands means that you've come to some form of a boiling point on a situation so this is about real expectation when you get that nine of wands and the nine of wands is about oh oh is this person going to come back oh I'm going to hang on in there even though I've been hurt and even though you know I've got all of these butterflies and I'm feeling really nervous I'm still waiting even though this person treated me like a piece of trash I'm still waiting that's what the Nine of Wands is for me when I've seen this card show up for love. It's about the waiting thing. Even though it doesn't matter what you've been through on a situation, Gemini, mentally and emotionally, there is the need to hold on in there because not even necessarily, you don't even necessarily need to be confident with that card. It's a, almost like a compulsion to do it. But what's the reason for that? Well, some of you guys, it might be, Gemini, you're waiting for... It's, for some of you guys, it might be that you're confident about a situation. You're very attracted as well. Nine of Wands, might, eight, Queen of Wands, sorry, means to attract things in. So it might be that mentally and emotionally, you are waiting here, all right? You are holding steadfast. It might be you are the Queen of Wands. You're confident about something. It might also be that you're attracted to someone here. It might be because of passion. could be about an 
Fire sign individual, Queen of Wands is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. Let's have a look at what the present situation is. Well, the situation is showing about desolation, destitution, abandonment. Um, feeling blocked out of somebody's life is the Five of Pentacles, because that's what the Five of Pentacles is. I hope you can see that it's white and it's difficult to pick up the... Uh, look of that card but you've got five pentacles on a tree and the tree doesn't have any greenery it's cold it's snowing so this is about destitution instability it's also about relationships that have become quite distant so the situation might be about a distant relationship in your present situation but what's the present situation response to that around that desolation well there you go death so some of you guys might have experienced around this situation being distance within a relationship when you get the five of pentacles it's about there's no firm footing or grounding to grow a relationship when you get this card might be that there has been some form of an ending with that death card and this is when you get the situation while well, we were asking well what's the situation about it's about death and ending so there's an ending here in uh connection with this five of pentacles what's the reason for that though well arguments strive five of swords Five of Swords can also be third-party situations. On the Witch's Tarot, we don't see the third swordsman and the two people walking off crying. But usually on that card, it can be that somebody's being cast out or a couple of people are being cast out because of infidelity. So the Five of Swords can also represent in a relationship an advantage taker. So somebody who feels that they're getting the upper hand over another. So sometimes when you get the Five of Swords in terms of terms of relationships, this can actually be where one partner is being either, uh, what's the word, um, in terms of communication, they might be, be being quite, I'm trying to look for the word here, being quite superior, in I guess, in the way that they're speaking to the partner. They're making the partner feel less. So sometimes that card suggests somebody who has aggressive uh, aggression. It could also be jealousy. Five of Swords is a jealousy card. So there might be an ending because of jealousy with the Five of Swords. Could be third party situation. Disagreements is the Five of Swords. So it's not seeing eye to eye. It's not getting along. Let's have a look at what your um, hopes and desires are. Well, the situation is about the Wheel of Fortune, and this is about a change for the better. But what is the hopes and desires around that Wheel of Fortune? Well, the Two of Pentacles is the hope. And Two of Pentacles as a hope, it wouldn't be about instability, because this is the card of instability. As a hope, it would be maybe somebody's going to weigh up the options. So the situation is around a change, because we can see here that there's been destitute, destitution, emotional isolation in a situation around that we can see that for some of you guys there's an ending here with the death energy what's the ending based on jealousy infidelity arguments conflict uh, possibly aggression sometimes with that five of uh, swords somebody who's taking advantage using their power to make you feel less that type of thing but some of you guys the situation is about a change around the hopes and some of you guys if there's a change the hope will be the two of pentacles around that change maybe somebody's going to reassess the situation because this is the card about reassessment might be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn for some of you gemini's what's the reason for that well because of the ten of wands burden okay now who's got the burden it must be the person that has made you feel like this because you're hoping for, that somebody, and this isn't you, is going to reassess. But that reassessment will be based on the burden. It's either that you're going to the person and you're putting them on some form of a guilt trip, Gemini. You're saying, look, I can't do without you. I'm really struggling here. You know, I need you to come back. I need us to try and work things out. Or it could be with the Ten of Wands that you're hoping that they'll reassess. We've got to change being the situation here. Now, when you get the Wheel of Fortune, sometimes this is an unexpected change. So for some of you guys, there'll have been an unexpected change as the situation in which your hopes around that unexpected change is that this person's going to reassess Two of Pentacles. What's the reason for that? Well, it's either that this person's going through some form of a struggle or a burden, or it's you. Let's have a look at what your expectations are. Well, the situation is the Emperor. So the Emperor is about... Um, standing in your power, it's about building those boundaries. So when you get the emperor, the emperor says, you know, in a reading, the emperor can be saying to you, okay, right, we've got to put things in order now. And these are the rules that I'm laying down. So the emperor really is a rule setter. And the situation might be about laying down some rules, some boundaries around a situation. This could also literally be an emperor around the expectations. But what is it around this emperor that you're expecting? 
well, you're expecting some form of justice here. So around the emperor, I feel that this is you guys laying down the law, potentially. You're setting some rules, some boundaries, some form of regulations around this relationship. And you will be expecting that to be followed because you're expecting to get your justice from that. What's the reason for that? Because of the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is a difficult card to try and read with that. But progress. I feel it's because you're making some progress here. Eight of Wands represents progress. It meant represents an acceleration of situation. It also represents feelings. So it could be here that the situation is about laying down the law. Setting boundaries with the Emperor energy. It's almost like. And I think that this might be somebody who's going through burdens. Not you Gemini. It's the other person. I feel that this Two of Pentacles as your hopes. Is that this person's going to reassess. Maybe they're going through burdens. With another partner potentially. This Five of Swords. Maybe there was an infidelity. Maybe they looked at the grass being greener elsewhere. They, they realised it wasn't with that Ten of Wands. And now you're hoping that they're going to reassess. Because they're going through some form of burdens. Maybe in a third party situation. And that's why in your expectation area here. It might be that you're laying down the law Gemini. You're setting the boundaries with this Emperor energy. Why is that? So what are you expecting from laying down the law with the Emperor energy? Well around that you're expecting to have your justice. Why are you expecting to have your justice? Because of the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is progress. The Eight of Wands can be... I don't think that this is about feelings, no, because I feel that if you're expecting someone to reassess the situation because they're going through some burdens, possibly in a third party situation, the upper hand looks like it's with you on this one. All right, in which you're laying down the law, you're setting the boundaries here, you're expecting to have justice around that, it must be something to do with them, eight of wands. It must be something to do with the way that they're communicating with you, what they're saying to you with this Eight of Wands. I love you. The Eight of Wands is shooting arrows of love at someone. So it might be something to do with what the other person's doing here with the Eight of Wands. If that's not the case, then this is showing some progress within this situation. What is it that you're not seeing? Right. So the situation will be about worry because that's the Nine of Swords. But what is it around the Nine of Swords that you're not seeing coming in? Well, the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is showing someone who's arrogant because you wouldn't be worried about a victory coming in. All right. You wouldn't be worried about a victory coming in because the Six of Wands is victory. So therefore, I'd probably turn this card around and say that it's the other side. It's the flip side of the Six of Wands. And that shows an arrogance. It also shows somebody who has high self-esteem. It also shows somebody who's a narcissist. It can also somebody, show somebody who's got followers. So it might be that you're worried. Why are you worried? What's the situation around this worry, the Six of Wands? Does this person have followers or are they following people? Are they looking, for example, on the internet, at dating sites, that type of thing? Because the Six of Wands represents recognition. So what is it you're worried about with the six, Nine of Six of uh, Wands? This isn't about victory. This is about either who the person is or what they're doing or people around them. What's the reason for that Six of Wands? Because of the Ten of Cups. That's interesting. So you're worried about this. It could be with the Ten of Cups. We can turn this around and say that this is an ending of a cycle here. Might be that you're worried that this person is following others, maybe, or that this person is recognised by many people, for example, or that they've got they've got other people who are following them because of the Ten of Cups. Maybe you've got the relationship back to the way that you want it. Ten of Cups is happiness; it's emotional happiness. What's going on in the immediate future for you guys? Well, the situation is around strength, and the strength card is either to suppress another person by force of will so when you get strength this person suppresses the lion they've got a hold over the lion so this person really does get this when you get strength it's about two opposing forces that have to learn how to live in harmony together so the strength card usually you wouldn't get a lion going up to a woman and a woman or anybody who's not trained with lions would not usually you know go near one of these things because it's a wild beast and it will eat you <laughs> So the strength card is about quiet confidence sometimes. Sometimes the strength card is about overcoming an obstacle. And sometimes the strength card is about withdrawing, knowing when to withdraw, knowing when to do things softly, softly. We'll see what this is around. So what's around the strength card coming in? Well, there you go. You've got the lovers. All right. I want to see what that's based on though. Yeah. All right. So the situation will be about acceptance because the strength card means accepting each other's differences so some of you guys a situation could be that you're accepting each other's differences here 
there's a certain acceptance with the strength card. Strength has to accept the lion. The lion has to accept strength. So this shows a bond I feel going on for some of you guys. Because around that, what your experience is, is the lovers. And the lovers is about a deep soulmate connection. So you're experiencing deep love with this individual, with the lovers. And what's the reason for that? Well, it's based on the page of Cups ideology. So be careful of that one because it's based on words. It's based on pretty communication, sweet communication, I love you, yes, I'm so glad that we're back together, I'm so glad that we are, and yeah, this is your card, but it doesn't matter, this is based on the connection with the individual, but that's because of the Page of Cups, you've got to be careful of that energy, because the Page of Cups, as nice a card as it is, it can be very temporary, because it's based on feelings, and it's based on expressing feelings, because it's a communication card. So you guys are going to be communicating with someone here. And it will be sweet nothings and lovey doveyness, And that's really nice. And that's why the situation is about acceptance, which is quite nice. Let's see, though, how the situation evolves, evolves overall in those two weeks. Well, you've got a King of Wands showing here. And the King of Wands speaks about great confidence and great passion and great motivation. Okay, it speaks of trust and spiritual awareness, but this could also be a person here or the person that we're looking at. We're going to get a lot of fire in this, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was a fire sign individual, personally, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be an earth sign with that two of pentacles sitting there. Could also be fire with the king of wands, queen of wands sitting here and the ten of wands, I feel, and the eight of wands. We've got a lot of fire in the chart and also six of wands. So I feel that it might be a fire sign, it could possibly be an earth sign for some of you guys but it could be anyone let's have a look at what the uh, situation is around that king of wands the empress so the empress represents growth within a relationship okay so i feel as a result of this situation being the king of wands which speaks about great confidence in a situation here what you'll experience overall the overall outcome what you experience around that card is about building this relationship with the empress energy because empresses represent in terms of love where you're building on that love it represents a relationship that has the potential to bloom and to grow beautifully what's the reason for that while well, it's the chariot. So this is showing some form of victory. But also, remember with the chariot, it's not just about victory. It's about accepting that you've got bumps in the road. All right, with that chariot energy. It's about accepting that it's not going to be smooth sailing. But if you can work together to get the op opposing forces that maybe both of you are dealing with, uh, Gemini, into sync. So it's about control when you get this chariot energy. It's also based on self-control. And we do have a strength card here, which represents self-control. But I'm looking at these energies and I'm seeing the situation as strength. What is it about strength? Well, it's the lovers. And the lovers is either about a choice, but it can be, it's often about a deep soul connection between two people. And I feel around this strength energy here, the bond that you guys seem to be feeling with another individual, it's the lovers. It's a connection. You're connecting in terms of your emotions with that lover's card in terms of love. Because of the Page of Cups, there is a free expression of some form of an emotion. There's emotional value that's being expressed with that Page of Cups. There's a playfulness and a certain joy. Butterflies in the stomach. The overall outcome is the King of Wands. Have, uh, the King of Wands represents confidence but also commitment because he can be seen as a committed character within the tarot. So there's a confidence going on here. In which what's being expressed is the Empress. The overall outcome is the Empress here. Alright, we're going to read this two ways. Two ways we'll read it. It'll either be the King of Wands is suggesting confidence in the situation. In which well, what's going on around that confidence that you'll experience in the overall outcome. The Empress represents blossoming relationships. Relationships that have the real potential for growth because they're represented by fertility which is what the Empress is, also about shared attraction. But this is based on the notion of the chariot, and that is you guys possibly controlling any type of anger or any type of problems that you've got going on and moving forward together towards the goal of victory. So that could be one explanation here for sure. I feel that the King of Wands could also be a person. Well, what is it in the overall outcome about this person? Well, it's suggesting something about an Empress, okay? Now, if the King of Wands is a person, we have to look at what the King of Wands is. Yes, he can be a committed individual, but you've got two face cards here, Empress and the King of Wands. We have to look at the situation, I feel, as the King of Wands. Firstly, what does the King of Wands represent? Well, the King of Wands represents somebody who's confident within themselves. Sometimes the King of Wands can be overly confident. This person tends to go with their passions, all right? So they're very sexually motivated, 
all right so it could be if this is anything to do with the situation being sexual motivation with that king of wands from an individual it might be around that the empress again is about sexual energy and being attracted to those superficial things what's the reason for that because of the chariot and the chariot often represents somebody who's still being pulled in two directions so it could work either way i feel on this reading let's get the reading again and then we're going to quickly go through the romance angels so some of you guys three of wands here all right, some of you guys are looking to the future, but I feel that it's more that you're waiting for an investment to come back in terms of a relationship. This is the situation in which mentally and emotionally you're not giving up with that nine of wands. It might be that you're very attracted to the person with that queen of wands energy. Might be that there's a fire sign around you. In your present situation for some of you guys, um, Gemini, the five of pentacles is the order of the day in terms of the situation. This shows emotional distance within a relationship well what is it about this emotional distance it might have been an ending what was that ending based on could have been a third party situation with the five of swords disagreeable situations going on there's an imbalance in the relationship especially maybe in the way that somebody's treating you talking to you however your hopes while the situation is showing some form of a change occurring wheel of fortune your hopes will be that this person will reconsider two of pentacles why is that are they going through a burden here did the third party, if it's a third party situation, did it not work out or are they in deep regret over what they've done with the Five of Swords to you? Your expectations will be, well, the situation is the Emperor and that's about setting up some boundaries, okay? In which your expectation around those boundaries is to get you justice. Why is that? Because of the Eight of Swords. Is it that there are still feelings here with the Eight of Swords? Or is it that this person is expressing something to you? Showing lots of, throwing lots of arrows of love maybe with the Eight of Wands. Or is this simply something to do with progress? Eight of Wands can also be uh, weapons of attack. So if you're laying down boundaries and your expectation around those boundaries is to have your justice, then maybe this is something to do with the arguments in the past. Because Eight of Wands and the Five of Swords can show abusive situations going on. Here, in the hidden factors, you've got worry. So you don't know about this, but the situation will be about worry. Well, what is it you're worrying about? You're worrying about the Six of Wands. That situation is about the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is victory, so we can't say that you're going to be worried about victory. We have to look at the other line of the card. The other line of this card shows somebody who's arrogant, somebody who's narcissistic, somebody who has a lot of followers, somebody who's recognized, but also somebody who's following others. It might be that the worry is that this person's either got other followers, they've got other people interested, in them and why are you worried about that because you're starting to build something back with this individual the ten of cups however the outcome cards are saying that the situation will be about strength and I feel that the strength card is really saying that it's about trying to accept each other the lion is a different species to the woman he could easily gobble her up but she sits with him all right so what she does she's quietly confident and it's softly softly you get more what you want softly softly approach than shouting about it so i feel that it's more for some of you guys it's a case of that you guys are actually trying to understand one another and accept each other's differences being the situation in which and what's that about the lovers because there are still deep feelings going on here but what are those deep feelings based on be careful of this one. They're based on the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is a nice card, but it's also an immature card. It's also a card that suggests, Gemini, that what you do is you whisper sweet nothings into each other's ears. You tell each other how much you love each other, but is it a strong enough foundation? Sometimes not. The Page is in terms of love. Page of Pentacles, sorry, Page of uh, Wands and Page of Cups especially can fizzle out as much as they can come in. The overall outcome will be two things I feel one explanation could be that there is great confidence in this relationship with the king of wands energy might be the situation is something about a spiritual understanding going on here is a very spiritual is a spiritual elder in the um in the tarot he's got great intuition so there might be some form of situation that says that you feel that you've got some form of a spiritual understanding of the situation you're very confident about the situation you're very passionate and motivated by the situation but what is it around that that will be the overall outcome it will be the ability or the potential to work on this relationship to grow it to develop it in a healthy way with that empress energy perhaps because with the chariot you know that you've still got some opposing forces some opposing problems that you're going to need to work through could also be that if this is the person the king of wands well yes he's a committed character in the tarot but he's also somebody who has commitments but he also looks elsewhere he's got a woman in every port or a man in every port as it were 
So the situation will be around that because it's, he's such a virile character and he loves sex, that type of thing. Might be that the situation around this King of Wands, well, what is it about him, the Empress? Everything for him is possibly on a very kind of superficial level. The way that you look, the sex that you have, that type of thing. And why is that? Because this person is still being pulled in two directions. They've still got issues. Chariot can show somebody who's got issues that they need to sort out because the horses are threatening to throw this person um, in two directions. And yes, it is about trying to gain some control over those things. All right, so it definitely it could be that things work out very well here, but the charioteer can also be represent somebody who's got issues and they're letting those issues drag them apart at the same time. Charioteer can be somebody who doesn't want love. They just want to pursue something for the sake of pursuing it. Okay, so be careful of that one as well. If this is the character and they turn out to be somebody who's very passionate, very sexy, very motivated, but they're driven. He's a driven guy. He's all in red. He's driven by his passions. The situation will be around him, the Empress. I feel this is somebody who looks at situations from a very superficial nature. And why is that? Because of the chariot. This person doesn't go for love or romance. They go for conquer. They conquer a situation. They pursue it to the ends of the earth. And when they get what they want, they tire out. So be careful of that energy there. But for some of you guys, it will be a lovely energy in the end, working through issues with another individual. Let's have a quick look at what your angel reading is telling us. And this really could go either way. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you've got for Gemini in terms of love in the month of... In the month of... Uh, the two weeks, first two weeks in September 2017. What is the advice that you've got for Gemini in the first two weeks of September? Show me. It's telling you to release your ex. It's saying the time has come to clear your energy. All right, I'm going to ask why they, you need to release your ex. Why does Gemini need to release its ex? Why does Gemini need to release its ex? Show me. Because it says uh, something about getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Now, you've got to read between the lines with these cards. It tells you to release your ex because it's about getting to know each other. Okay? I don't think this is somebody new. I think it's somebody that you already know. All right? So, it might be some of you guys need to release a person here. It might be also that the deeper meaning is you need to release. If this is something that's going to work out with you, you need to release the person that you let go at first. If they've come back and they've changed because you're worried about this six of wands. So it's something that they often do. They often go in for recognition. Might be that you're worrying that the person, what's the worry around? It could be a narcissist. Why is that? Because of the ten of cups. Maybe you split it up before with this ten of cups. Maybe there was an ending of a cycle before. Maybe this is going to threaten your happiness here. So it might be a narcissist. It might be somebody who's online looking at different people, that type of thing, because it's a card of recognition. If this person comes back, maybe they've changed, because it seems that it looks like you, some of you guys want to work on something with someone here. So maybe you need to release the person the way that they were and get to know each other all over again. If somebody's come back and they say, look, I've changed, then that's the ex-partner. The new one coming in is the same person, but they're coming in fresh. So it might be that's what you need to do. You need to release the old person and get to know the new. For some of you guys, if this is still who this person is, especially if the King of Wands is being represented as a person that you're allowing back in that has these tendencies to get involved, show commitment, but still look around, because he looks like a bit of a joker as well on the card. Look at that. Sitting there looking quite smug. Okay, so, you know, if this is the type of person that likes to have a bit of fun, especially at your expense and doesn't really care, because around this individual is the Empress, that superficial energy, sex, the way that you look, it's all on the superficial. And remember, we do have that lovers coming in here for some of you guys. You've got the situation being bonded to this individual, acceptance between one another of each other's strengths and weaknesses within the strength card. Around that, this is about love, the lovers getting to know each other, feeling in love with each other, but it's based on a weak energy. Page of Cups is a weak energy to me because it's a page. And when you get Page of Cups, it's flirtatious messages. It's saying, I love you. It's saying, oh, you make me feel so great, blah, blah. But it's weak. 
it's weak it's not based on a ten of pentacles energy i need pentacles to be sitting there somewhere along the line too much cup energy or too much love energy for me is too weak it could be that this person especially if they're a bit of a player with that king of wands energy well what is it about them what is the overall outcome as a result of the player the empress and the empress yes it is about building relationships but it can also be about very superficial things superficial attraction to the body for example the way that you look for example because of the chariot this chariot can represent somebody it's a military card it's not about love all right Yes, it can be about victory, but it can also be about somebody who's not after love. They're after sex or they're pursuing a goal for a goal's sake. That's what charioteers do. So for some of you guys, if this is the type of person that you're dealing with, then maybe it's saying that you're releasing your ex because you should release your ex because getting to know each other, your bond is going to deepen. But is their bond going to deepen at the same time? That's your reading, Gemini, your love reading for the first two weeks in September. I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and I will speak to you guys real soon. Take care.